Hello, everybody. How are you all? I hope you are all doing very well. Uh, welcome to one more video. Uh, this video today is to talk about one of the main um, quality tools, basic quality tools called Ishikawa or uh, cause and effect diagram. Uh, there is a, a platform specific for this, this topic in, in Jump. This is in the analyze quality and process part here in this diagram. This it, it's uh, only uh, this is one of the few places in Jump that you don't need to have a data table before starting the uh, performing the, the analysis or the, or using the platform so you just click here and jump uh, just create and the beginning of a cause and effect diagram so you have here the effect the cause one cause two the sub causes so as you know, uh, when we are investigating some problem, we have the problem here being the effect and mainly talking about the, 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 the Ishikawa, we will have the six M's being method, being for example machine and we have four more. So, so how can we create four more uh, causes for more uh, divisions here so we can just select the machine right click insert before so let's put here man power and mother nature for example and we have here machine mother nature man power so method insert one before being uh, what is missing here measure and we have one after here insert one after so method measure manpower modern nature machine and material so now we have the six m's here and we have one x for this method cause another one here if i want to put more axes inside of this material division we have we we just go there and insert below so we can put a, a lot of different possible causes here for example uh, four different axes here uh, of course, each one would have uh, the, its a specific name. If I want to put one thing uh, inside of this X, for example, I can do this as well. So below X3, I have below uh, the X3.1, the X3.2. So jump start creating. Uh, a lot of different divisions as you created so what is the secret here let's suppose that I, I want to save this as a data table so right click here make into data table and look what jump is doing here we have a, a column called parent and another column called child so this is hierarchical so Problem is uh, like the parent measure is child. Problem, parent of this child. Uh, material is parent of this child. This child here has a, a, another child. So this X3 is parent of this child. So all the relationship is, all the relationships that we, you, you have are here. So this is very important because the moment that you will create the diagram, you will have to select this as column. So uh, the main topic and the subtopic, the cause and the subcause, the parent and the child. So parent and child. Okay. So you just create. 
you can, for example, change this from fishbone to something more uh, related to hierarchy. This word is very difficult to pronounce it as you are watching and hearing, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, if you are talking about uh, project management, for example, you can uh, work with this structure. This is very nice. And we have the third version of this called nested, where you uh, organize these uh, as clusters, right? So you can select each cluster and work with them. So the, the, the main topic here is Fishbone, the Ishikawa uh, diagram. So it's here, it's very simple to use and it can be very helpful uh, for you guys. I hope I could uh, help you again. If you like the video, give us your like and if you are not subscribed yet, so I ask you to subscribe and let's share knowledge about how to use Jump to solve problems. Bye bye guys, see you in the next one.